Officials say this season has already brought some of the most dramatic wildfires Canadians have ever seen. Now a new warning, this summer could get even worse. Every province and territory will need to be on high alert. There have been 2,214 wildfires nationally so far this year, and approximately 3.3 million hectares have been burned. The cyclone called Biparjoy, meaning disaster in Bengali, threatening to live up to its name. It's been brewing in the Arabian Sea for days, gathering force, becoming one of the most fierce cyclones in the past 25 years. It will pack in wind speeds of up to 125 to 135 kilometers per hour, with gusts reaching up to 150 kilometers per hour. At a rehearsal for the Trooping of the Colour on Horse Guards Parade in London, the heat was too much for some. medical teams rushing to help as soldiers wearing bearskin hats struggled to cope with temperatures as they climbed towards 30 degrees. But these temperatures are above average for this time of year, and climate scientists are telling us that heat waves like this are made more likely and more intense because of global warming. And Hurricane Ian continues its catastrophic rampage. The Category 4 storm moving at an excruciatingly slow pace. More than one million Floridians have no power right now. Hurricane Ian made landfall tied as the fifth most powerful storm ever to hit the United States. If this was a taste of what fans can expect at the World Cup in 2022, then Qatar impressed. A dazzling opening ceremony launched its first purpose-built stadium in and keen to demonstrate its global appeal Organizers of the tournament invited international legends to watch the show. 